All right, so here's another interesting question. I think this one's kind of fun because I love caffeine, and I'm sure a lot of people who are in uh, college or, or in high school or whatever are probably living on caffeine or will be at one point or another. Anyway, caffeine blocks AMP phosphodiesterase, okay? And what AMP phosphodiesterase does is it converts cyclic AMP to what's known as 5' prime AMP, okay? And so the question is, would caffeine tend to block or enhance the action of glucagon. Now remember, glucagon is a response to low blood glucose. So what do you think caffeine would do? Well, I mean, intuitively we know what caffeine does. It's a stimulant. So right off the bat, we should probably be thinking that it's going to enhance the results of um, the, re the response of, of glucagon. And indeed, that is what happens. So in the question, and in my prepared answer here, I said, you know, it would, it would enhance the effects of glucagon. And cyclic AMP levels would remain higher for longer durations of time. Okay, so that because that's what would happen here. Normally, this cyclic AMP phosphodiesterase here converts the cyclic AMP to 5 AMP, but that's not happening. And if that's not happening, then that means cyclic AMP is not going to be converted to 5 AMP, which means it's going to be available for longer durations. And if and since cyclic AMP is a vital component of the phosphorylation cascade that I talked about in the previous video. Um, since that's a very, very important molecule in the phosphorylation cascade, it, it, it produces the protein kinase A. Um, this is extremely important stuff, okay? So it activates protein, I, I shouldn't say it activates protein kinase A, but regardless, the point being is cyclic AMP is an important molecule in the phosphorylation cascade. So Thus, glycogen synthase, okay, and remember glycogen synthase was the enzyme that synthesizes glycogen, um, would remain phosphorylated for longer periods of time. So if, it's re if it remains phosphorylated for longer periods of time, okay, it's downregulated. That means, though, also because of the reciprocal regulation, glycogen phosphorylase, the enzyme that breaks down glycogen, um, would remain upregulated, okay, for longer periods of time. And this is consistent with the fact that caffeine is a stimulant, all right? So thus, more glucose would be released into the bloodstream when caffeine is present, making more energy available. 